All right, today is October the 11th, 2015, and we're watching the Northeast Pacific Infrared Loop. And we're watching a uh, low pressure system right here off of Baja, Mexico. And this storm, this uh, system is moving to the north slightly, and it should be delivering rain into the Southern California area. But because of high pressure that's been installed here uh, by a harp transmitter to block not only this, but also this. Uh, weather here. This is a hurricane force storm up here. Very low pressure system up here. Uh, we're not getting much of any rain except a lot of heat and very low humidity. In fact, uh, the beaches in Southern California had mid to upper 90 degree temperatures yesterday and today. And uh, the humidity at the beach was right around 18 to 20 percent, 21 percent, which is unheard of. It's, uh, although this is happening more often, uh, more recently in the last uh, three years, two to three years, we've been talking about this uh, among ourselves here, and the, these high temperatures at the beach are very strange, and the low humidity. Um, we've been going to the beach for decades, and uh, mid and upper 90 degree weather at the beach with, with uh, uh, 18 and 20 percent humidity is, is, is unheard of. It's, it's very, very unusual and it's not natural at all. In fact, uh, these, these transmitters are causing that uh, condition. We should have, uh, typically the beach weather has always been about 25 degrees cooler than the inland valley uh, temperatures. And uh, so that's why uh, people went to the beach is because it was much cooler. You had a sea breeze and you had the nice, uh, cool, damp, ocean air. Well, that's many times not the case any longer uh, when, when they're blocking these uh, large storm systems. So I just want to make that a matter of record as well. Uh, we actually had, uh, it was actually hotter at the beach yesterday uh, and today than it was in certain areas in uh, Los Angeles. Okay, so that's something that is noteworthy. Let's look at this same map in the uh, water vapor loop. <coughs> We can see a uh, vigor is spinning low, a lot of uh, thunderstorm activity. There is a transmitter on this slow. We can see that here, all through this area to keep uh, keep this tail from um, uh, merging with this low. We've got a very large area of, of high pressure here. Okay, this is a tropical storm Nora. This is moving uh, west northwest at about 14 miles per hour with 70 mile per hour winds. And it is forecast to make a turn, I think, on Tuesday to the uh, northeast. So we'll keep a keep an eye on that, and we'll keep an eye on the tail and what happens. Uh, they've got this area dried out pretty good, so this tail is not going to uh, feed back into this system. It looks like anyhow for the next day or so. Okay, um, we can see all the thunderstorms here in the uh, infrared loop. Let's go look at that. Uh, this is the East Pacific water vapor loop. You can see that uh, low pressure. This is a mid and upper level low. Should be dumping the rain in Southern California. Here's that tropical storm here. And the moisture field from that is looping back. And it's very dry through here. High pressure all over. Okay, let's look at the uh, infrared loop here. Plenty of rain, a lot of rain in that system. Let's go on and look at the, uh, this is the Central Pacific, we're looking at Hawaii, and here is Nora, right here. Nora is being uh, blown apart, hit by a transmitter, and we can see the blast pattern right here, all the way around. You can see, see the uh, core diminish, it's a very bright blue at the beginning of the loop, and then it is hit, and then it diminishes and comes right back. So. They are not hitting this with full power. They are just, they are throttling it back. It's it's about 70 mile per hour winds right now. If they weren't hitting this storm, it would probably be a category three or four storm. But that is being hit. There's no question about it. We can see the blast pattern all the way around the edge. Okay, let's look at this in the uh, infrared loop. <coughs> Let's 
can see a blast wave down here on the bottom side of that storm. Right down here, pressure wave and a blast wave. Right out here too as well on the west side. All those little icicle like looking fingers out there on the edge. That's indicative of a blast. High pressure, high temperature. Got water, water vapor in that core that is heated instantaneously nearly and uh, causes a very high pressure uh, uh, wave that we see in a blast pattern. Okay, let's look at uh, the water vapor uh, map for the western U.S. We can see all this high pressure in here that's blocking this. And we've got a jet stream that's moving right into the uh, northwest there. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes. Let's look at the uh, infrared loop. This is a very large cold front that goes all the way out past Hawaii. This is from that storm up here. We'll take a look at that on the map next. Uh, let's go back to the uh, surface pressure map uh, here in a second. But notice the uh, notice the bands of uh, of rain right here, pretty much end at the border. They're just not getting into the United States. There's so much dry, hot air right here. The last couple of days we've had uh, you know 22, 23 percent relative humidity in the valleys and about 19 to 22 percent in at the beaches so this this is just really really strange and uh, it's not normal uh, the beaches always used to have a nice cool onshore flow uh, nice ocean air always about 25 to 30 de 30 degrees uh, cooler than the valleys in, in the inland uh, downtown area but uh, yeah there it is so by tomorrow we should be seeing some rain if, if the forecast is on, if it's true. Uh, but if they decide to keep this transmitter on here, we're not going to get anything. Except more hot weather. Okay, so here is the, uh, this is the water vapor loop for the southwest. And here is the core of that uh, low pressure right here. And a lot of bands should be moving right into Southern California. My guess is there's probably a lot of chemtrailing going on right right out here. We didn't see any chemtrails today in, in the uh, Los Angeles area. Looks like maybe right here we can see some uh, aerosols being laid out over here. Right there. Let's go back and take a look at... The, whoops, wrong way. Yeah, this looks like uh, some chemtrail stuff right here, all through here. I don't have my SSEC map handy right at the moment, but uh, that that is chemtrail. I can I've got enough experience looking at these maps to tell you that right here. So they are they are probably uh, doing this. <clears throat> Mostly they're using high pressure right at the moment to uh, deal with this. Okay, here's the jet stream, 300 millibar. We see a strong flow out of the uh, Bering Sea coming down and uh, going right into the northwest, Oregon and Washington. And there are favorable conditions here. We've got arrows moving into the uh, California area. We have a high here, of course, and then this low. So uh, should be getting rain from this. Uh, let's look at the uh, 500 millibar. Here's the low. We've got a high that extends all the way around. Okay, there's a low up there. That's that very powerful low. That's around 950 some odd millibars of hurricane force winds. Okay, let's look at the uh, 300 millibar. Here's the low, and then we have two highs here, and uh, they're showing on, on the surface analysis map that this is going to move to the north. Let's go take a look at that map here uh, right now. Okay. Um, right down here, they show this is a 1,009 millibar uh, system right here. It's going to move to the uh, northwest. There are highs uh, placed all over here to uh, block this hurricane force uh, low pressure system, 959 millibar. And we see that huge cold front going out all the way over Hawaii, out past Hawaii, and a gale right behind it. But all these highs are uh, causing the problem. These man-made 
harp generated high pressures are, are uh, keeping the rain out of California right here. There's four of them indicated. All right, so uh, that's the situation right now. Um, go ahead and do another update tomorrow. That's it.